in the box, in our in this lovely uh, box, Crown House has done such a gorgeous job with this resource. There's this beautiful shiny box, uh, and it comes with a facilitator guide, um, which explains all of the key ideas. And then there are seven different types of cards. Um, and first of all, we have the blue cards in the center of the screen here. Um, these are these the key concepts. And so there's one for each of those key concepts that I mentioned um, earlier on, metacognition, self-regulation, self-regulated learning, monitoring and control. And then there's those five enabling factors. So there's 10 blue cards, which set out what those key concepts are. And there's the definitions on the back of them. Then we have these two other small cards, the pupil actions and the teacher actions. And there's 23 of each of these. Um, and just to give you some examples, so the teacher actions, we can see there's one on here, this modeling, stimulating dialogue, promoting agency, sharing success criteria, and so on. So these are all verbs. These are all things that teachers can do uh, and develop to, to promote self-regulated learning. Um, and then there's also pupil action cards, prioritizing, noticing, trying out, talking it through, thinking out loud, lots of different ways in which children can start to activate themselves as self-regulated learners. And then we have these four larger cards. As, as Louise said, we have, the, the per, the, we have some of them that are aimed at teachers and they're the purple ones. And then the yellow ones are aimed at leaders. And so the purple professional learning cards, the ones that we can see on the left-hand side of the screen here, there's one of these for each of the six stages of that professional learning cycle that Louise just mentioned. So we have familiarize, investigate, try out, refine, evaluate, and share. And we have the same again for the leadership learning cards. And then lastly, we have scenarios. So to bring this to life, we wanted to provide people who are using this resource with some examples of the kinds of problems that teachers face in their, in their daily classroom life and the, and the problems that children and young people face and how this resource can help them. And we're going to look at a few of these scenarios later in this call, so I don't need to go into that in any greater detail just now, but just to let you know that there are some of them that are aimed at teachers and some of them are in early years, some of them are in, uh, are in secondary school and primary schools, different subject areas and so on. So we've tried to cover a range of different type of, types of problems that people face to illuminate and illustrate how this resource can help people to, to overcome the problems that they face in their daily lives.